Seem like Portland kind of always dares you to make yeah. and take threes. No, that's exactly what they do. I mean, and they, you know, I mean, I think that's how they think they have their best chance to win. And so, you know, we knew that going in. So we spent a lot of time just you know, feet, hands ready out there on the perimeter. I thought our guys, for the most part, did a really good job of just taking the right ones. I mean, you can take a lot of them if you want, but uh, it's got to be got to be the right ones. And then there's always a context to it too. And obviously with the bigs we have, it's nice to be able to, you know, mix in and be able to go inside out. Kind of the second straight game where you're able to set the tone with the defense, um, kind of similar to Saturday. What have you seen from, from that standpoint? No, we, we had a great start on the defense. And actually we had a great half, I felt like, on the defensive end, especially, you know, that team's got some real skill and they spread you out and it's just, it's different playing them. You know, see five out, five in, popping and shooting threes and fading to the corner and, and, uh, and then a guy like, uh, Roberson in there, kind of wheeling and dealing in the post, and just um, um, so on, you know, relatively short prep, our guys did a nice job of executing the defensive plan. The oh, whole, I'm sorry, sorry. Play, yeah. I was just gonna say to hold Robertson and Musich. I'm not sure how it's, he's been scoring it really well. Hold those guys down. Uh, yeah, way below their averages. Yeah, yeah. No, no we, we did a nice job with that. I, I actually thought we did a good job on Gorsito, at least in the in the first half, and then he got going in the second half. But uh, he, he's dangerous too. He's really, really, really shooting well coming in here. What makes Braden so good at finishing around the rim? He's got great hands. He's a hand-eye guy. I mean, he's, I'm sure I, I've played him in, in uh, ping pong or pickleball or anything like that, but I mean, he's just one of those hand-eye guys, you know? So. And he's really done a good job, you know, of growing that and finding. He does a great job of finding the ball, either off, off the offensive boards or just in our flow of offense. You know, that's what we're trying to get Graham to do. It's just, just got to find it, kind of like uh, that's what Drew did. And the guys are looking for you. And sometimes you can't drop a play or whatever. You just got to find it. And uh, he helped us a good job of that. Is he, good or, is he a better ping pong player or a pickleball player? I don't player? know anything. <laughs> I don't know anything about his game. I haven't done anything. I'm just saying he's a hand-eye guy. So, yeah, I would assume he's, he has the potential to be really good. Yeah, uh, Could you tell from the practices after, in the prep from Saturday leading into now that the guys are really chomping at the bit to get back out there? Uh, you know, that it's typical. It just takes some time. You know, that was a high emotion and there's a lot put into that thing. And, and uh, you know, sometimes you just got to let them recover and heal and all that. And again, I say this all the time, I mean, uh, last loss of the year and the NCAA tournament and all that, and players come back faster than anybody. It takes like 24 hours. Staff takes a little bit longer and the fans never recover, you know? So, um, uh, I mean, it, it's, it just seems like it goes like that all the time. So they were, they were fine by the time we got around to practicing Monday. Is this the game you were looking for um, going into this weekend? Um, to, you were hoping to have, I guess, to get back on track? Uh, sure. I mean, obviously, you want one where you make 15 threes and, and uh, um, you know, play good defense and all that. So we feel good about it. Now, I mean, obviously, it's a whole other entity we're going to deal with, you know, interrupt. And, and you know, they're desperate, uh, you know, just like we are. And, and uh, but man, they got some, they got some. High level talent. Cal's done a good job uh, bringing freshmen in and, and then mixing in some experienced transfers and keeping a couple guys around from last year. And, you know, they're so, they're really, really something on offense right now. So, uh, you know, we'll have to prep from tomorrow. It's a long flight. And then, uh, uh, you know, get ready for, for us a relatively early game on uh, Saturday. With, with EK and the fouls, you kind of shake your head sometimes at where he's getting them, I guess? Yeah, How? it's just tough. You know, it was, I mean, it's just all, there's all these you know, collisions and wrestling matches and everything going on down there. It's, to me, he plays pretty darn clean, and uh, he's just he's found a couple fouls lately in these games. So um, you know, hopefully we can avoid them uh, Saturday. What do you make of the skill level you're going to see Saturday? Uh, I mean, it's it's they're, they're I'm so impressed with their freshman skill level. I mean, 
mean, it's, it's crazy. Um, Shepard, Billingham, I mean, just how, how, how skilled they are. Obviously, they're talented, but it's amazing how they shoot it, shoot it so easy, and how confident they are. And, uh, you know, the whole group is uh, very impressive. You know, I don't, I, don't, you know, I don't think offensively they were quite there last year, but this is a really, really, really good offensive team. And they're deadly in transition, so you got to get back and guard the three line and then you know, try to set our defense and you know, keep them in front. They've been giving up quite a few points in some of the SEC games. Where do you think you guys can kind of take advantage of, of them on that side? I mean, you know, we'll just have to play the game and see see what they're going to do and play our way. And, and, you know, we'll just do what we do and see if we can find some matchups and advantages and hopefully we'll make shots like we did tonight. You know, it, it, the game feels a lot better, looks a lot better. And, the result is usually a lot better when you just make those open shots. And uh, helps when you make 15 threes instead of three or four. Coach, you kind of hit on it, the hostile environment you guys are going to be going down to. But uh, just talk about Rupp Arena. Talk about what you guys are excited about. Yeah, no, hey, it's one of the legendary places to play in, in all of college basketball. And, you know, we've been pretty much everywhere uh, with this program. We've just never been there. So uh, that's what we're so cool about Cal agreeing to do this, and uh, uh, you know, he deserves a lot of credit for that. He didn't have to. And the fact that it's in season, you know, in conference play, I think it bumps it up a couple notches, and, and uh, you know, with Gonzaga plays Kentucky, that's a really, really big thing for college basketball, you know, regardless of what's happening with their particular seasons. You've played in most of the, the great arenas. Is there one you want to hit that you haven't? Uh, I mean, I'm good. <laughs> I, I, I try to find, you know, I think we, we have hit pretty much all of them and played everybody. But, uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see if we get something on the horizon where we haven't been. There aren't many yet. So. You kind of talked about right. the, sorry, just yeah. the, the evolution of scheduling on your radio show Monday. And what at what point do you think um, maybe these teams are starting to kind of consider Scheduling Gonzaga, coming here and, and starting a series with you guys. Was there like a turning point maybe in the early I mean, I 2000s? Exactly, but yeah, yeah, like I said, it was the last thing to come around. You know, it came, took a while for the recruiting to come around. Um, uh, you know, obviously TV came around and the last thing. I mean, it's it's a pretty exclusive club to be able to get in and have these games. And I don't know that our fans realize, but when you have Kentucky come to Spokane, that's a really, really big deal. We have Michigan State come to Spokane. You know, we have Baylor come to Spokane. We have Arizona, UCLA. These are really, really, really big uh, deals. You know, Texas came to Spokane. So it took a while to get to that point, but I mean, the incredible job that all our players did over the years um, uh, and the success they've had and, and you know, the attention that they garnered for the program is what put us in this uh, uh, position. So now you got to take advantage of it. Thank you.